automatic. Ah, what's going on guys? As always, nothing to it but to do it. I'm gonna keep saying it. I believe it, you believe it, it'll happen. Just like anything. Beast. Absolute beast chilling right here. Absolute other beast. It's currently been three weeks since I bought this thing. And we've made some good progress on it. Not gonna lie, not gonna lie. The good old 150. Such a trusty, reliable, do anything, go anywhere vehicle. I do love her. Do love her a lot. Hey, what's up, guys? Oh, what the fuck? This thing. Alrighty guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Burt Builds here. Beautiful day, beautiful day. Glad you could make it. Uh, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button as we... Uh, oh. Stepped in a puddle of oil. And... Howdy and welcome back to the channel. Uh, craziness, craziness, boys. Hope I'm not blowing out your eardrums, but yeah. Done a lot. We got the Cummins painted. We got it almost all organized to uh, get on into the truck. We have diesel conversion specialists sending us on over the uh, kit and an adapter plate we need to get onto our torque converter and transmission uh, movage package. We have to move the transmission back, say, three inches. There's factory holes there for the V10 drive shaft and transmission for those trucks, so we can mount right up to those and go on forward with the Cummins. So make sure you guys check out that part. As you can see, we have a lot of, I don't know, I don't know how well you can see, but a lot of things removed, a lot of work done. So make sure, you, I, I don't want you to miss that. That's really good, really good stuff there. So make sure you guys check on, check on that. But it is pretty hard, pretty hard to like stay focused as just me on recording and getting what I want done perfectly to show off to you guys and then I have to go in and edit it and it's never I'm so OCD about sitting down like I see whistling diesel and people say oh I'm OCD like dude you're destroying shit like it's not that hard and then we have these gamers like Allier and uh, Navistar and whatever the hell that other fucking phase, phase guy is and they're like ah it's like let's be honest you're not really working you're not really doing that much you're playing a video game and you're destroying stuff, but sure, your content's cool, I, I guess. I guess, you know, sure. So yeah, pretty recluse though. Yeah.
But I bought this thing a year ago. People were like, what the heck is this? Why? Blah, blah, blah. The thing's nice. such a nice truck they don't make things like this anymore and this is only a 2003 boys new trucks don't compare they don't new truck garb this thing man punched in the steering wheel nicely but everything else is beautiful boys Look at my body lines rolling. Pretty poor. Can't even go through. Look at that. Brand new. Full battery. Same with all these. Full bats. Full bats. But you know, the sawzall never fails. <laughs> that thing it's worth like four thousand dollars that thing's junk what this whole truck is junk no it's not hey it's a junkyard So apparently, if you take a spark plug, get the porcelain out of it like so. Ceramic actually, not porcelain. It's like a really hard substance and it can break glass like nothing. Nice. Had to cut this bedside open. 